Hey there, YouTubers! Welcome back to the Gaming Strategist. This is the Conquistador once more for our video number nine, Total War Run Two. We're playing on the legendary mode, and uh, we are at war with Persia. So Persia has two cities, I believe, or probably even more. I'm not sure about um, who was the owner of this city here. And um, I'm going to pay them a visit to find out. But I fear this city is the last one. You know why? Because if you can see this reddish skull hovering above their head here, that means that they are suffering attrition from starvation. So meaning that they probably don't have that much cities left. And... Um, and they are almost done, so <laughs> let's just finish them off. It would appear they don't have that much city left. But then I'm gonna move on this enemy here, Media Atripatine. They have been working against my interest, and such actions deserve a punishment. So let's take this city here. Yes, you can, and yes, you will. All right. I don't like these odds uh, because they're going to. I'm going to lose a lot of men here. Yeah, I don't like them. I can besiege the city, or I can fight this battle on the battlefield, but I'm going to lose a lot of men. He does have a lot of missile units and they are within walls, so no, thank you. Let's besiege the city at the end of the... Um, it's only going to take three turns, so Laying that's siege not so to the bad. Settlement. What can I do for Egypt? When we do lay siege here, we are going to find out, about, find out more about what is left of Persia on this side here. I don't regret that there is no one. Forgive me. I must rest. There is entrustment. I am yours. Where can a horse and pair of All of you suckers need to come here. How may I serve you? Let me try something with this fellow here. Travel then, as you order, my lord. I wanted to increase his, his rank, but clearly he failed, he proved not to be the man for this job, that is fine. Yeah, you better recruit some men because you are my next target. I'm gonna declare war on you when I'm done with the Persians. So, this dude didn't go anywhere, that is the good news. He's already on a fourth march stance. So I want to try something here, I want to keep him stuck here. Oh good. You can move quite a distance. My skills are yours. Good. You better use them. You gotta put them to good I use. See it done. No, she felled me. Stupid. Well. Oh, it appears she's going to fail me too. Yep, you were distracted indeed. That was a pity. Well, I guess he's going to escape me. They were supposed to stop him, and none of them could do a thing about his movement. And now... Well, let me just run after him here. I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one fight. Can you do this, or are you going to run away from me? Let's see what happens. Okay, so this city is besieged, and the Persians are almost done, so I am confident within the next two or three turns, there will be nothing left of them. 
I can probably dismiss this guy from Antioch and get him ready to invade Meteor Tripatine. So let us not spend any money on this turn in order to score some more money on the next. It's always good to be around 30,000, 50,000 when you fight a war. Because then if you lose an army, you can always recruit units as quickly as possible. Let's see how the Royal Barracks are coming. Seven turns. I'm gonna need Royal Barracks here, so let's do this. I will probably require this here. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Economy. We need to have a very nice economy here. Let's see what the Persians are about to do. And let's go. Alright, so back we are here. Um, on this turn, trying to take on the Persians. They are all starting to suffer from attrition, so... Let me try this out. Yep, the odds look much better. So, I guess we can do this and claim... Yeah, let's take eighty six percent. Good job, sucker. My lord. All right, so they no longer have their main city, and these are the cities controlled by other factions such as the one I really hate the most here now what happened to this dude what did he do did he run away yes he did run away the coward I bet he's somewhere here nope he isn't where did he go that's awkward Bactria, media, Bactria, where did he go? I need to find out where he is. He's not here. There is nothing I could do. I don't know where he is, but if he does come out. How can I assist? Invade Celestia. I will deal with them accordingly. So, um, I don't know where he is. How can I, assist, I want to finish this dude off. He's going to try to run away, of course. That's what they do, those cowards. Guide my footsteps. So, I guess you can trespass. <laughs> I don't care. No! Yeah, whatever. Okay, he's dead. The next command, my lord. To fight for you, my lord. Wave blocks. Any man who drops. Left behind. Now, I need to deal with At these ease. five here. What can I do for Egypt? I saw this yours. I will see it done by any means. That is acceptable. How can I assist her? I go. some good job well done and um How can I help you? I never give. Never. 
Okay, so it would seem there is no further city beyond this point controlled by Persia, but I'm gonna make sure of it. Um, okay, that's fine. So, no more Persian army, I don't see them, unless he's coming through here. Ready for orders. Let's just get ready in case he is. Uh, I'm not going to build anything now because, um, well, probably only here. Because I'm going to need to recruit, f I need to be able to recruit royal, royal from royal barracks in any single province I have. And how many province? Are my presence in now? In Syria, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to be in two more provinces to get the reward. The nice money bonus that comes. All right, so um, let's move on to the next row. Can you not see? Together, our armies could be nigh invincible. The world will tremble before our collective might. Well, I'm glad you made the request and you're not asking for any gold. I like your offering and I'm not going to try to rip you off. Let's do it. You have served your people well today. This acceptance has earned you respect and the blessing of a thief. Alright, so these cowards um, are tracking my settlement here. I have no army present and the odds look quite in my favor. So I am going to take those odds and destroy them. Goodbye, sucker. That is a pity. I'm gonna lack some efficiency on the field. And some idiots. Well, some family members have attempted to assassinate my men. That is no big deal. I can always get another one from the royal family without any struggle at all. So I want you to go to the border. Please go to the border here. And here comes our friend. He is ready to take on the challenge. To this point, he has no choice because how can I assist Pharaoh? He needs a city. I have deprived him of all his cities, and he needs a city. So that's why he's here now. At your command. He wants to take his chance. Go after him. Yep, this is going to be a massacre. Goodbye, soccer. You have further orders? Ready for orders. Alright, it's time to fix the city. Almost forgot about it the last time. This is fine. And this is fine. Good. You will be back in no time. I guess things can wait here. I and I'm gonna on. take this dude on. He's on the oh that is pathetic. You have grown careless. Do you see this? He's on a forced march stance. How can you be on a forced march stance near my army? 
It's asking for an execution. Ambush. Oh man, we are going to kill all of them. That is awesome. Yep, that is awesome. We're not gonna let you run away, are we? We are gonna come straight at you and destroy everything that remains alive in your army. How can I assist, Pharaoh? Go! Kill the cowards! Cowards indeed. Alright. Goodbye. See you in the afterlife. And that is it. Persia is gone. They have been destroyed. Your forces have trampled this faction into the dust. Well done, Persia is no more. We've won the war. Now. <laughs> now remember, this is a war they declared on me. And uh, clearly they were foolish enough not to understand that they cannot win wars against Egypt. I have become such a mighty foe. Whoever declares war on me now at this stage must have a lot of money or must be totally a fool. How can I assist you further? All right. So now, like I said, I'm gonna run amok in the cities of this dude here. And um, the best way of doing it is to declare war now. But I'm gonna wait because I need all my armies on this side to replenish. And um, I want them to be ready. So most of them have suffered some casualties as you can see here. So I need them to, recover, to fully recover in order to prepare for a full scale invasion of media atropatine. So I suspect media would still want to resume the war with me so I'm, I'm being cautious about them and that's why I'm keeping this dude in this region to make sure if they decide to declare war on me I'll be ready to answer Your servant, I want you here I dare not begin. and my agent the new ones that I just recruited now let me recruit another one if there is space yes there is space they need some practice in order to get superior ranks. I am your champion, my lord. Superior ranks means much more efficiency. The gods guide my footsteps. Alright, clearly there's nothing for us I here, so you can just friend. come back. How can I serve? Come here. And I'm probably going to wait to recruit some um, some royal units. So I'm hoping no, it shouldn't be ready by now. Yeah, five more turns to go. Uh, but probably in Aegyptus, we are in a much better shape. Yep, we can recruit royal units here so who is going to recruit who is going to do that for us um i have a better idea what can i do i'm gonna just spend this whole army here and raise one in alexandria That is a pity, but it's all right. They're going to be African war elephants. They're really strong and powerful. They are deadly in the field. How can I assist? I want hourly patrol. And it is about time to recruit some heavy shock cavalry. So Ptolemaic cavalry is among them. Our Lord 
four of them are always enough. And the Hellenic Royal Guard. Nice bike, man. They're really powerful. You can see the melee attack is 50. Melee defense 41. Armor 93. Health 60. So these are good stats. But the priority will be the belt dice. Um, I should have probably waited for more turns. I don't know. Uh, but uh, let's just hope that they will not be below 3,000 so that we can keep the coin rolling in our kingdom. Um, so um, I might want an extra war elephant unit. Yeah, let's do this. And probably some Galatian Royal Guard. Uh, Nibian Bowman. I don't see them. But for now, let's settle with this. And uh, I'm already at one seven. That is really bad. You know what? I think I think I'm gonna wait. Uh, I can't just rush into doing this because. Let's wait until we get to 50,000. Just bet. Goodbye. So we're going to keep it here on 5,000 and probably wait for the next 10 turns and just try to make buildings that make money, such as this one here. And um, this one is already coming. Where are other cities? And there is a big bonus that is still um, awaiting, but for that we need to be in some other provinces, and we cannot just do that as of yet, unless we do go declare war on Perth here. That should be fun. But no, I think we can pause it there. Um, probably wait. So. In the other videos, I will, I'll be, I think in the next video, I'll already be at 50,000 dinner or something. And then I'm going to start recruiting some roll units and start a full-scale war on Zadrakota and, uh, I mean, on Medio Tripitin, this uh, kingdom here, the whole kingdom here that controls this whole region. And probably then, um, uh, finish off Media, these dudes here. So, this will be the end of this video, that was not that long, but the main aim of this video was to crush Persia, and we succeeded in doing it, and in the upcoming videos, I will be dealing with uh, media, but first media, Tripitine, and media, so these two kingdoms here, and um, that will allow me to be the master of the whole, of the whole Eastern region, because I'll control every Eastern related positions except some Bactrian territories here and some of my ally territories here. So yes, that was fun. Crushing Persia was fun because they declared the war on me. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I did not declare war on them. They just wanted to war with me, and <laughs> without me even fighting with them, they wanted peace. But uh, they have learned the hard way that a war declared on Egypt at this stage of the game is not a war that can end peacefully. Unless I have a lot of advantage from it. So, a lot of money to a peace treaty with some um, tribute or some cities that I first take and then I can settle on a piece if I stole three or four of your cities uh, weakening you in the process so so guys thank you for watching this video thanks a lot um, it was the conquistador from the gaming strategist we will be making more videos um, on other factions uh, very soon 
um, I just want to achieve the victory condition in the re Egyptian Grand Campaign mode, and then I'll be moving on. Probably the next faction I'll be playing with will be uh, Rome. Rome, I love Rome. It is a great, great faction. Um, so, yeah, Rome will be um, my next faction uh, in this Grand Campaign mode. I'll be playing with Rome, and uh, Rome is a tough campaign, trust me. It's, it's, um, I did play um, already on the legendary mode in Rome um, on my free time just to see what <laughs> what awaits me and trust me <laughs> man it's hell difficult it's a lot of difficulties it's a lot of uh, factions declaring war queue at the same time um, so yeah that's it so guys thank you once more for watching this video I'll be seeing you on video number 10 um, upon saving um, as many um, as much money as I can um, in order to start a full-scale war on media tripartine and media controlling all the east for the glory of Egypt it was the conquistador for the gaming strategist signing off cheers <laughs>